clock keeps ticking down now less than five days away from decision day and the race right now is focused on a handful of states like uh, Florida and North Carolina where it's so close the Democrats are now warning intimidation of minority voters could affect who wins in that state. Steve Handel's been following it for us tonight from Washington. Steve. Devin, thanks. The Southern Poverty Law Center that monitors white supremacist groups and the U.S. Justice Department here in Washington are concerned because race has infected this process in places where just a few votes could make a big difference. Florida, Florida, Florida. Donald Trump went to Jacksonville in a state now tied in the polls and fired off unsupported charges. Hillary Clinton has engaged in a massive far-reaching criminal conduct and equally far-reaching cover-up. In Miami, President Obama warned if Clinton turnout is weak, Trump wins. He can't hear you boo, but he can hear you vote. In early voting in Florida and in North Carolina, where Trump and Clinton are also tied in the polls, African-American turnout is down. Worry about voter intimidation is up. Trump is warning the vote will be rigged. Former Klan leader David Duke, now a Trump backer, and pro-police extremists who showed up armed in Ferguson are urging monitors to show up Tuesday at balloting sites. In North Carolina, Hillary Clinton charged Trump's strategy is to intimidate voters. Just a few days ago, Donald Trump was endorsed by the official newspaper of the Ku Klux Klan. Do any of us have a place in Trump's America? Melania Trump came out to support her husband in Pennsylvania, but her warnings seemed aimed in part at him. We have to find a better way to talk to each other, to disagree with each other, to respect each other. But with five days to go, it's harsh. Here in D.C. today, the Justice Department announced that election monitors will be sent to four counties in North Carolina, including one being sued for allegedly removing thousands of names from the voter rolls. In Washington, Steve Handelsman, Local 4. Okay, Steve, we are doing something special on election night for users of the Click on Detroit app. Of course, we'll be sending out push alerts for all of the major races, but this year we will also be sending out push alerts for the local races that are of interest to you. Download the Click on Detroit app for free in your app store. Just search WDIV.